Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to do a video on creating symbols for objects. Super excited about this video. Um, first, because it's the last video I'm going to do in Minnesota before moving to Boston. Second, it's probably the last video I'll do for 16. After this, I get to start recording videos in 17, which I'm crazy excited about. And third, this uh, solves a big issue that I know a lot of us have struggled with. And what I want to talk about specifically is how to get the 2D floor plan symbol for an object to be a different size than the 3D object. Um, and so we're going to explain that right now. If you look, I've got a lot of cabinets here. These are all objects on this side of the red line. So we've got seven objects. And on over here um, is the object before it was saved, it was just built out of a bunch of different morphs. So you'll notice that all these objects look identical, all the same shape, all the same size. But if we go to floor plan, here are those same seven objects. And you'll notice that you know, this guy and this guy look the same. This one, the symbol's all squished. Um, there's something weird going on here. This symbol is a giant box, and then these two are perfect. So, let's run through what's happening. Um, this first object is just an object that was created by selecting some morphs, going to 3D, um, selecting it, going up to File, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection as Object, hitting OK, filling all this stuff out, and hitting Save. Um, this second object here um, was done a little differently. Instead of saving it from the 3D window, I saved it right from the, the plan view. So I went to the same libraries and objects, save selection as object. And you notice, I shouldn't have glossed over this, um, when I went to save this object from the 3D window, um, save section, deselected everything. Um, that thing I glossed over, which I shouldn't have, is saying, OK, the top view of the selected elements will be used as the floor plan, plan view of your new object. So if you save it from the floor plan, it is saving the floor plan view as the plan view, because it already knows it. And that, this is where it starts to get interesting. If I look at this object, which is saved as from the 3D window, and I'm going to open that object, which for me is Command Option O. I think that's default. We can go to 2D Symbol View. There it is. But if we go over to Scripts, 2D, nothing. And I should say at this point, you don't need to know any GDL to do everything we're doing. What you need to know here is that there's no script for the 2D symbol. All you have is um, lines that were extrapolated. But if we open up this object, which was saved from the plan, we go to 2D symbol. There is no 2D symbol. But if we go to 2D scripts, we got a bunch of gibberish, which is not gibberish. It's code that someone who knows scripting can understand. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know all the details here, but it doesn't matter. What you need to know is that the difference between saving it on the floor plan and on the 3D window is that the, the floor plan creates script, so there's actual code that describes um, this floor plan view. Now, if we go into these objects and paste in um, a new symbol, so basically in this object what I did um, is, oh, I'll just go through and show you. Go to 3D, select that object, file, save selection as object. It's going to generate a um, floor plan view. We're going to hit save and OK. Let's not worry about that stuff because we're not talking about that in this video. I've got another video that goes over that. I'll put a link hopefully right here. Um, so anyways, we're going to now place our new object. 
and I'm going to open up its um, I'm going to open the object and notice there's no script because we saved it from the uh, 2D or from the 3D window and here we have the lines and I'm just going to go ahead and delete those I'm going to paste in a new um, symbol. I just copied and pasted that straight from the plan. Now, we'll notice it's highlighted there in the plan. Once I close this and I'm going to hit save, we're going to notice that that symbol is going to resize or it's going to change shape. Because in fact it didn't resize, it stayed the same and it mushed this symbol, which used to look all pretty, into the same um, space. So if we wanted to make this symbol look right in plan, by stretching the object, let's just say it like that. If we go back to the 3D, now it's all goofy and bad. So, how do we solve that? Um, the trick is saving the object from the 2D, from the floor plan view, with both the 3D and the 2D together. So let's show you how to do that. So we have this symbol up here, you know, right here, and we have the 3D object. Um, Right here. So we have this piece figured out, we've got this piece figured out. What I've done right here is put them both on top of each other. So if we go to the, um, the hammer, the edit selection set dialog, we'll see that I've got 17 morphs, 13 lines, 2 circles. So we've got 2D and 3D right there. Now I'm going to go to File, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection as Object, and I save that object. What that creates is this guy right here. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And so what we have, 2D symbol, nothing. 2D script, whole bunch of stuff. But the result, if you look, has problems, right? Because we've got you know, both the, the extrapolation of the 3D plus the pretty 2D. We want to get rid of that. So how to do that is you open this object. Actually, let's, I'll make a new object and we'll walk through it. Um, so file, save selection as object, new object 2, that's fine. Oh, I should hit escape. OK. Now we're going to go ahead and place that new object. Um, gonna, oh, go ahead before I open the object. Um, just Command C, copy that 2D because we're going to need that. Um, and oh, before we open it, let's go look at it in 3D because this is something that's going to be important. So that object looks right. Now, when I select it, you're going to notice something a little notice something a little different. See how the there's the 3D elements here, but the actual edges of the object are these dots here. So ArchiCAD, and this is the part where I can't explain. Hopefully, some GDL wizard can maybe add a comment that explains why this is happening. But this object recognizes the extent of the um, floor plan symbol as part of the 3D object. So it basically has a dead space in 3D, which means you've got the right size object, but a larger bounding box for the object, object overall. Um, I think I said that a little garbled, but this will make sense hopefully in a moment. So here's our object. We're going to open it, and we've got no symbol, 2D script. Now, if we were really smart in new GDL, we could go through and probably find um, what pieces of script to delete. And maybe if we had named our morphs properly, um, we could just find that there and just, just delete. And actually, um, my that would be if we delete all this garbage. I bet this is the morph. Let's just go off script and try. Script says okay. Um, let's save that. Let's see what we just did. Okay, we just deleted it somehow. So we went too far. But that's okay. Um, we're going to open that object again and just finish deleting everything. So now we have no script. If we go to 2D symbol, we got no symbol. That's why it disappeared in the plan. So we're going to paste in that symbol. 
move it in there. Uh, close that, save it. Should magically reappear. There we are. So now what we did is we basically deleted the 2D script. And so now our symbol, and repasted the symbol in. And since the symbol we're pasting in is the same symbol that was used when we saved the object, um, everything just matches up perfectly. If we look at that in 3D, there we are. So now we have a 3D object that's the perfect size, a 2D symbol that looks you know, just as perfect as when we were all using AutoCAD and drawing just generic symbols. Um, so that's pretty cool. And so now there's two other pieces we'll say. Um, the object is going to try and resize to this full thing. So here, if I open this one up, look at my 2D symbol. You'll see my 2D symbol is, you know, the right um, proportions. But because I didn't put the doors in, because I didn't have hotspots out here to make the 2D symbol match the 3D object size, um, we get that weird distortion. So if I were to, let's see if I can show you how to do this real quick, um, put in some hotspots. Let's just say it's there. Why is that not copying? Okay, so if I were to select all those hotspots, there's my. Um, and copy them into this symbol. This symbol now resize properly because those hot spots give the overall symbol the right size. So you can see it's still going there, but the hot spots show up there. So if you wanted to have this, you know, for whatever reason, symbol show up that way, that would work too. Um, so one last part, I'm going to look at these two objects, and you'll notice there's some differences here. This one has more hot spots. Um, and if we look at these both in 3D, we'll notice that on this guy, there's a whole bunch of hot spots floating out in the middle of the air, and this one has none, just the boundary box. What's happening is, if we open this object, I went into the 2D symbol and added hot spots to all the corners of the doors, figuring, you know, in 3D you could see if something was swinging where those doors are. Well, if we go to parameters, we have right here this default parameter that shows up, show 2D hotspots and 3D on. If we turn that off, those hotspots will disappear, um, but we're going to leave it on, and so we can add some other floating hotspots. And Eric Bobro has a video that actually talks a lot more about adding hotspots to objects, so you might want to try and find that one. I'll provide a link somewhere in the comments, or maybe float it up here in the video so you can check that out. But Hopefully that all makes a lot of sense. This is a long video, so I hope I don't have to record it a second time. Um, but there's the trick to recap. When you save an object, if you want the floor plan symbol to be a different size than the 3D object, save them together from the floor plan. Go in, delete the 2D script, or delete the parts of the 2D script you want deleted. Um, and then copy and paste in a symbol if you delete all the 2D script, make sure that the symbol um, aligns with that um, origin point so everything is aligned, uh, save, and you're good to go. And the last thing, we kind of touched upon it here, if you actually want the 2D symbol to be smaller than the 3D object, um, add hotspots around the, the corners of the 3D object and then make the symbol within those hotspots. The hotspots will uh, keep everything sized properly, and you can just, you know, put the letter A or put the word for a cabinet, whatever you want, just as long as you stay in that hotspot. So that's all from Minnesota. We'll have the next video from Boston, and thank you very much. And if you guys have questions about this, um, ask away in the comments, and maybe we'll do a follow-up video.
to clarify some things if, if it needs clarification. So thank you very much.